big films and in this episode we are going to actually show the collection of product like this but not exactly like this we have to modify this we have modified the single product but we have to modify the collection much more thing in this episode so with that i am your host sarthak and this is the channel where i talk about laravel and the cool thing about laravel so if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe and like bit fumes on facebook twitter and instagram so let's see what we are going to do and how exactly we are going to do so we have created a resource collection so if i use that collection let's go to resource product and then collection if i use collection it will not do much thing so i'm going to delete this collection from here i'm again using only resource so it will be like same product resource extend resource product collection extends resource that's okay but let's see one thing let's go to product controller and here we are actually giving everything why not do one thing let's say uh, product resource not collection colon colon then collection this is a one more method you can use if i go to chrome reload the page you can see it is modified to the single product we have modified so it's exactly like that but this is not the way i want if you want that's okay but it is this is not the way i want i don't want to give the reviews in here whenever we are giving the details of the product i don't want to give the discount or i don't want to show the stock i don't want to show the description even here i just want the name then total price and then simply the rating nothing else i want very very minimal uh, product details here so that then we will give a link here so to get the details for that particular product like this so if i go here then the consumer of your api get all these things so firstly i don't want this one so i don't want this one so what i want i want product collection so collection and here now i have to say new product collection and let's import it at the top i have used php companion okay then go reload you can see it's giving all these things because we are using product con collection not product resource okay so this thing will not use so here we are just providing whatever we are getting so let's just modify it here i just want to give the name nothing else so dollar this arrow name that's okay then as i have told you i will i want to give the total price not the discount not the price so whatever you want as i told you it's only up to you i just want to show you how you can do that so let's get total price on the collection and total price this is the price and then the rating that's very important thing okay here comes the rating okay that's good and what problem is here it says this okay <laughs> double okay so this is good this is good and now comes the most important thing href then here href will give firstly uh, product details so simply link okay here again i have to say route then product dot let's see the route we have to give so let's go to terminal and here i will say php artisan route list and to show a product we will use product dot show so let's go to sublime and here this will be products dot show then this arrow id that's nice let's go to chrome reload this page and we have some problem product name does not exist on the collection instead because we have to go to product and instead of new collection because if i use new collection it will transform only one single product but i have to say collection okay now it will work reload 
and yes you can see the data and then name is something total price and href now if i want to get the detail for particular product let's go to this route and yes we have all these things in the last episode we have created and you can see everything again wrapped inside this data okay if i give discount that will be nice because whenever a user go it will see the discount then it will be happy so discount i will give here so this arrow discount okay that's great so now let's go to chrome and give a refresh and yes we have discount also here and if i go to any other link we have other details so i think to show product we have done correctly let's work on the reviews part that means if i go to reviews we will get the reviews we should get the reviews for the particular product so all these things in the next episode so if you have not subscribed yet please subscribe and like with fumes on facebook twitter and instagram till then let's go to terminal and do some github part so git add all git commit and with the m flag i will say here uh, product collection product collection oh that should be oh collection uh, resource created okay then git push everything is on github eight commits refresh nine commits great so we will meet in the next episode till then goodbye